Assalamu alaikum, everybody. I hope you're having a great weekend and a wonderful Ramadan. Thank you for joining us today for this virtual story time. We have three exciting books. We have one about Ramadan called Layla and Zaid Learn About Ramadan. Then we have this one, One Sun and Countless Stars, a Muslim book of numbers. And then last, we have one that's not about Islam or Muslims, but it's something for all of us to learn how to be brave. It's called Be Brave, Little One. So thank you for joining us in the space. I hope everyone's having a beneficial Ramadan with lots of fun things and good food, alhamdulillah. So we'll start with our first book. Layla and Zay learn about Ramadan. Bismillah. Layla ran to her brother's room. She was all excited. She pointed to the calendar. Zaid, do you know what tomorrow morning is? She asked. No, what is it? Said Zaid. Tomorrow morning is the first day of Ramadan, Layla said. What's Ramadan? Said Zaid. Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. You know what? Today's also the ninth day of Ramadan. What a coincidence. I'll see you for Suhoor, Layla said as she ran out of Zaid's room. Time for Suhoor, said mom at the dining table. What's Suhoor and why are we eating this early before the sun is even up? How many of you ate this morning before the sun came up? Raise your hand. Anybody? Yeah. Dad explained, we eat suhoor before we start fasting to help us stay strong while we worship Allah during the day. Zaid thought for a moment. Hmm. Then he smiled and said, I can't wait to fast today. I'm so excited. It's pretty exciting to fast, right? Settle down, class. Today we will learn what fasting during Ramadan is all about and why Muslims do it, said teacher Amal. When Muslims fast during Ramadan, it means they stop eating and drinking from sunrise to sunset. Muslims also stop doing bad things like bothering their brother or sister or not listening to their parents, the teacher explained. Ring, went the bell. Class was over. Zaid and Layla learned a lot in class. When they got home, Zaid and Layla rushed to the kitchen where mom was cooking. They told her what they learned in school. Zaid said, Mommy, I mean, Zaid said, Mommy, Muslims fast during Ramadan because Allah tells us to do it in the Quran so we can get closer to Allah. Wow, you're right, said mom as she grabbed a towel to dry her hands. Kids, it's time to recite the Quran, said dad. The whole family sat in a circle in the living room. They opened Allah's book to read Allah's speech. They looked at dad and asked, dad, what's the Quran? Dad replied, son, the Quran is Allah's words, which came down to us in this blessed month a long time ago. We should read the Quran every day. After they finished reading the Quran, Zaid and Layla's stomach started to rumble. Grr, grr. I'm hungry, cried out Zaid. Me too, little brother, said Layla. Zaid and Layla asked their parents, Mom, Dad, fasting makes us think about about other people that do not have as many things as we do. Can we take some food and clothes to people at the shelter who need them? Sure, that's a great idea, said dad. Ramadan is not just about fasting. It's also about giving to people, helping others, and being good to your parents. Ramadan is about doing as much good as you can so you can get closer to Allah and make him happy. When they got home, mom announced, time for iftar. Now that it's sunset, it's time to break our fast and then pray maghrib. <sighs> the food smells delicious, said dad as he grabbed a plate. I can't wait to break my fast, said Zaid. 
fasting really made me thankful we have each other, good food, and a nice home to live in, said Layla. Do all of you have each other good food and a nice home to live in, right? We should say Alhamdulillah for that. After eating, Zayd and dad drove to the mosque to pray Isha and Tarawih, together with family, friends, and neighbors. Mashallah, the mosque is so full, dad. Is this really Allah's house? Asked Zayd excitedly. Yes, Zayd, this is one of many of Allah's houses where Muslims come to think about Allah, pray to him, and thank him for all he has given us, answered dad. At the masjid, the imam gave a short talk about how special the last 10 days of Ramadan are and how blessed the night of power is. Zayd and Layla looked forward to the night of power so they could do extra good and earn many rewards from Allah. At home, Layla told mom she wanted to help mom decorate the house for Eid. Eid is the Islamic holiday that Muslims celebrate after the month of Ramadan ends. What a great idea this was, Layla, said mom. The house looks so much better. Zayd and Layla and the whole family went to grandma and grandpa's house. Grandpa told everyone about his first Ramadan. He said, even though fasting at Ramadan may be hard, he always enjoys Ramadan because it brings the family closer. You always have the best stories, Grandpa, said Layla. When they got home, Layla and Zayd sat and thought about how fasting had helped them do good things, like praying Fajr on time and reading the Quran. They also agreed Ramadan helped them stop doing things they should not be doing, like sleeping too late and arguing with each other. When Ramadan ended, Zayd and Layla's family and friends got together for barbecue and fun in the backyard to celebrate Eid. Eid Mubarak to you, Layla. This is a gift for you, said Zayd to his sister. He was wearing his new Eid clothes. May Allah reward you with good, Zayd. What is this? asked Layla. May Allah reward you with good too, Layla. This is a uh, Ramadan board game, so we can play it and remember how Ramadan helped us get closer to Allah, replied Zayd. I can't wait until next Ramadan, said Layla. The end. Hope you enjoyed that first book. Oh, I see some claps. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Our next book is One Sun and Countless Stars. We're going to learn about counting through various Muslim and Islamic pictures. Open it up. One Sun and Countless Stars, a Muslim book of numbers by Hena Khan. Let me get it so everyone can see it. There we go. A little tricky sometimes with the camera. One is the morning sun, a light that slowly spreads. We hear the first adhan and rise from our warm beds. Some of you might have an adhan clock at home that plays the adhan five times a day. You might hear it when you wake up or in the middle of the day or the most important during Ramadan at Maghrib when it's time to eat. So we have one morning sun. Two hands are two are hands for making dua that I join and raise. I say a prayer from my heart and offer words of praise. All right, everybody, can you take your two hands and make dua hands? Let's all practice our dua hands. Let me say a quick dua in your heart for what you want, and then we'll do Amin. Great job, everybody. Three are bags of sadaqa, too heavy for me to lift. Grandma fills them up for those who need a helpful gift. One, two, three bags of sadaqa. That's charity. Four, one, two, three, four. Four are lines of a surah, one I learned by heart. 
Grandpa looks proud when I recite the whole part. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Five are cups of tea ready to serve to friends. At mom's weekly halakha, the learning never ends. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six are people traveling by train, plane, and ship. They journey to perform the hajj, a very holy trip. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven are jugs of zum zum, water cool and clear. Millions of people drink this blessed water each year. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight are ripe, fresh figs sitting on a pretty plate. Dad's saving them for suhoor, but it will be hard to wait. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine are the beads I count as I say a special word. I make thusbi and know my prayers will be heard. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten are shoes on the carpet, lined up nice and neat. When Salah is over, we'll slip them on our feet. So many blessings in my life, like stars that fill the sky. I'll know, I know I'll never count them all, but every day I'll try. The end. So one thing from this book is as you go about your day to day, count all the blessings that you got from Allah. And then you can say Alhamdulillah at the end. All right. Our last book is Be Brave Little One by Marianne Richmond. Dedicated to you and me. When I look at you shining bright as the sun. I wish for you this. Be brave, little one. Be brave to begin to listen inside to the voice of your heart, so truthful and wise. How far will I go? What things can I be when I get to choose what brave is to me? Be brave to step up and try something new. Be brave to step out when it isn't for you. Be brave to stand up and tell what you know. Be brave to sit down and say a hello. Be brave to explore in a daring unknown. Be brave to return to the cozy of home. Be brave to be scared, to stomp and to cry. Be brave to mess up before you retry. Be brave to believe in what you can't see with the ups and the downs that are all meant to be. Be brave to keep going when the going is tough. Be brave to be still when you've had enough. Be brave to be with your feelings, each one, the happy and sad, the silly and glum. Be brave to be quiet. Be brave to be loud. Be brave to achieve and be fully proud. Be brave to be you on your journey begun. Let your heart lead the way. Be brave, little one. The end. Those are our books for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Alhamdulillah for our time together. And we will see you next week. To all the parents, thank you for joining. Keep supporting Muslim Space. And I hope everyone has a wonderful week and enjoys the rest of their days of Ramadan.